this point? Why did you buy a Focus? Um, well, I had Fiesta STs in the past. Sadly, one of them got written off. Oh, that never goes down well, right. does it? No. Yeah, but then I was out of the 14 for a year, debating what to get. I was mm. looking at Audis and BMWs, but then my heart was set on Ford because I'm a Ford man. Yeah, yeah, too right. And I just loved the sound of the Vibrox. So you went for the ST, good value for money. Yeah, it, you it, know. it was close, it was local to me, so. I, and obviously the colour of it was sea grey mm. um, and that was probably I think one of the best colours. The selling point for yeah. you, yeah that's and really good. Obviously local to me so at the right price as well. I love the idea of the wrap though, it looks like so in keeping with the car and the wheels and everything, it just looks, it looks so good. I wanted to do this for, like before having the car. Really? Yeah. So you and had I, the idea? Yeah I had yeah. the idea, it was all in my head. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit lively. Yeah, I like the liveliness. It look, it, but it goes with the car. It's not like yeah. it's out. It, it stands out, but it, it's made to look like it should be yeah. on there. So it's actually a digital print on yeah, yeah, uh, on um, vinyl. You have got like the logos, like the Ford Mania, the Hoonigan. That's all logos, but they're like you get the blue and the purple, and that's digital print. Yeah, all done right. by blueprints. Very nice. They've done a very nice job. STXA coilovers. Mm -hmm. Nice ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah really nice ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got all the power flex bushes, uh, front and rear. <laughs> and wheels, 1552. Yeah, right yeah. Up the 15 Because mark. they go well with the whole. Yeah. The Would you say wheels. Ken Block livery? Is that the it's, sort of it's, idea? It's or is Ken Block it... style, but obviously with my tweaks and bits and bobs that I've added on, obviously with Ford Mania. And... To make it your yeah. own. Power wise? Uh, she's running 412. Mm -hmm. At the flywheel with 490 foot pounds. Good safe power though, good nice power. nice and yeah. strong but not slipping I'm happy for where and... she is now. Yeah. Obviously I want good. to go a bit more in the future, but so guys, pulling over, let's have a quick look round this Focus ST. Now I'm gonna start by going through the livery or wrap that is on this car, the Ken Block style livery from the Jim Carner grid so you have obviously it has a twist so the original wrap wouldn't have had devil developments on there we have blueprint going down the side AirTech 1552 Ford Mania at the front so this is sort of taken from the original wrap style that would have been on one of Ken's cars and taken with a little bit of a twist for this ST coming up front you have carbon fiber eyelids as well these have different headlights as well with a daylight running light just at the bottom there nice grills with the purple four badge there blueprint have absolutely smashed this wrap though very very impressive coming up with the gopro signage and coming down jim Carna grid stickers with the hoonigan and ford mania stickers coming up the front though we have some lovely k sport six pot front calipers because I always say these STs you know if they're running double the power pretty much like this one is to get some good fat brakes up front it also has these lovely 1552 wheels in white which must be an absolute nightmare to keep clean <laughs> absolute nightmare with these little bits going around but such a cool livery and then the wheels to go with the wrap looks very very impressive coming up we have we have a combine harvester that's just started and numbering with the owner's name as well fyd repping hard and on the back as well you have this replica wrc spoiler as well coming to just finish that rear end off looks phenomenal at the back exhaust system wise we have a cobra venom system coming straight through with the acropovic rear end love the look of the tips on these acropovics or a cropovich as some people like to call them coming inside we just have a little look inside very cool recaro seats in here which i've never seen before so please let me know below if you have ever seen these seats before uh, rear upholstered but they're very very nice material full cloth coming round to dish steering wheel and looking at these clocks as well just in here very very cool also as you can see it actually has an ipad in the dash something i would 100 percent tell everybody to do in these focuses because i love the look 
of a center screen there. Coming under the engine bay, we have a fully forged ST engine. Uh, we have forged pistons and rods. We have the block mod done, 750cc injectors, the Mark II RS turbo, and all supporting mods. It also has a very, very lovely diff in it, which is the Quaif ATB LSD up front. We also have a stage free intercooler just behind the front bumper there, and it also is running a Revo stage four remap. Like the the coilovers are actually really supple for what they are and these seats although they are actually mark ii seats they feel just a little bit nicer because of the cloth i think it just seems like a nicer uh, fit finish i think and actual material feels a lot nicer like i had my list of what i want gave it to him a few days later i said can you put that in and they probably said that's probably one of the best things that you could have done to yeah. actually put that power because obviously yeah. 400 and what 12 412 yeah. um brake horsepower going through the front wheels of one of these focuses is a lot of a lot of yeah. time and effort gone into that power thing so you want to make sure it's actually correlating to you that which is complete yes yeah, stability and no I've got to point out, there's no real traction loss through no. the, the drivetrain that it actually hooks and goes, which is a lot to be said for putting an LSD in one of these actually transforms the car from being a one tire fire uh, moment all the way up to uh, it can actually put its power to the ground, which is a big thing. And obviously the Quake has worked your... Yeah, you can still turn the traction off and it will still light up both wheels and glow and all that sort of stuff, but it actually works with the traction control, I think. And I love the stealth black. The stealth black look in the bay is so good. I know a lot of people go with like different colours. Like yeah, like crazy oranges and all this sort of stuff. I just wanted it like a clean all the accents in the um, interior as well, just to point this out, FYD repping deep, obviously. But all of the dials have been done in the Hoonigan logos. We've got the iPad installed just down here, which I like. All of the blue in here as well, actually in the boost case and stuff up here. And all of this done in blue as well. Lovely colour matching, my friends. Absolutely beautiful colour matching. relatively standard i can see there's a bit more mesh at the front and carbon eyelids and stuff which i really like the look yeah, of to the, go with the livery the lights are have been changed i bought them from someone for about like 150 quid but mm. the daylight runners obviously the yes, kit's pretty much the same i am looking to wait in for um ng developments mm. they're bringing out a facelift wrc kit at some point oh, very nice that would make it yeah. look so yeah. much more in keeping that, with that, what you want. Yeah, that would keep with in one. Uh, 